Hey fellow trappers, um, even if you're a veteran trapper or somebody who's fairly new to it, uh, I'm sure you'll have the occasional critter that comes along and digs your sets up, flips your traps, um, steals your bait and whatnot. And uh, uh, I've dealt with that different ways in the last uh, few years, but uh, had a coyote come in recently and caused me some problems and uh, I'll show you what I did about that. I'm a little out of breath. I come up the hill here sitting under this rock cliff. So <clears throat> anyway, stay tuned and you'll see. Let me show you all my situation here. I got a Trap Shy Smart Coyote T coming along. I'm robbing my sets up this hauler here. This is cabin hauler. I uh, just caught a big coon over there in that cubby set the other day. But stuff likes to travel this dam, so. Anyway, so there's what it did to my trap. You can see that's just a dirt hole set with the old beaver skull on the back there for the tractor. <coughs> and a tractor, rather. And over here I had a cubby set. And it robbed my beaver carcass. You can see the wire. And I'm going to the back. See the snap trap in there. There it is. So I brought a raccoon carcass up here. I'm going to reset that. I'm going to put in a scent post set over there somewhere. And then a snare on that trail coming down here. But, uh, I'll get them set up and uh, I'll show you real quick. Alright. Got a snare hanging over there. Well, I can't see it. Hopefully the coyote won't be able to see it neither. With that trail coming down there. Got a scent post set here with uh, some GH2, Fox Hollow GH2, uh, some Cavens Canine Force, and some Blackie's Death Wind pitched back there on that stump, and some red fox urine. And the trap is not under the peat moss, it's under the leaves there. So we'll see. And up here. Redid the cubby set, raccoon carcass, the number two bridge of Douglas is in there, it's on a drag. Um, I used a lot of peat moss because this coyote I think is associating peat moss with where the trap is. So maybe that'll confuse him, it's worked a few times. And then up here where the dirt hole set was, I put in a compass set. My predator bait in the back there, some Cavens Canine Force. Uh, some Marsada's Minkler there. Um, back here I got uh, Leather Creek Outdoors. It's made by Charlie and those guys from Outdoor, or Hoosier Outdoors. Some Minkler in that one too. And then there's another hole down in there in that grass. It has uh, some Cavens Minnesota Red. So. And there's Red Fox here in back there. I don't know if I mentioned that. Then I have a Bobcat Snare over there in those in that tall grass. So I figured what the heck, you know, I got uh, about three days left over on Quicksand Creek, which is down that way. And uh, we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll get him, maybe I won't. Uh, it's part of the fun. On we go. Well, we got our coyote that was thieving, flipping my traps. Nothing in that snare. Scent post set. Nothing in the cubby set where he stole the beaver carcass. Bear with me. Nothing in the dirt hole set, but if you look over there, he ran into the bobcat snare. 
So he must have been coming in around the pond that way this time. Let's go have a look. Well, there was a trail coming through the, the weeds here. And uh, dropped that bobcat snare in there and kind of fenced it off a little bit. It's really weird. Uh, it's a smaller cable than the coyote snares, but uh, that's a big yoke there, a big old male. Surprised that cable. That's all right. Uh, got that a year or two ago from a fellow trapper named David Pennington. I ran into him while we were both out running our traps, and uh, he gave me several of those snares. So special thanks to David Pennington. It worked well, and he makes those too. Anyway. So that is the big trap shy yoke. Just goes to show you, folks. Just set for them and, you know, maybe you'll win. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. On we go.